All right, we're out on the range today, hot, muggy, Tennessee summer day. And we're gonna do a quick range test on velocities with the um, chronograph. We're gonna use a Jack Brooks 62 caliber trade gun. And what we're looking at today is what velocity differences we find between patching a round ball in a smooth bore, um, toe, using toe to wad a, a round ball in a smooth bore, and, uh, and using cards. So those three things, toe, wadding with cards, and patch ball. And we're gonna run through, we're also gonna check the difference between GoX and Swiss 2F. So what we'll do is we'll run up through with GoX 2F, because this is a requested video, so I'm gonna use primarily GoX 2F, and we're gonna fire 65, 75, 85, 95, and 105 grains with GoX 2F, and see what velocity shift we has have as we go up in grains. Then at 105, that's where we're gonna run our test. We're gonna run, we'll have run the GoX 105 grain charge. We're gonna try a Swiss 2F 105 grain charge. Then we're going to run our patch ball, and this is all done uh, patch ball up until this point. And then at 105, we're gonna try toe, cards, and we'll have already done the patch ball at 105. So we'll see what those three things uh, look like. So let's get at it. I've got 65 grains loaded up already. I'm gonna fire it through the chronograph, the target. I'm not really uh, focused on, on super accuracy with this target, but I do have the, um, the uh, camera down there so we can see that up in the corner there and, uh, and just see what kind of velocities we get. So let's take a look. Swiss Null B in the pan. So let's take our first shot, Go X 2F, 25 yards, um, patch round ball. So it's 62 caliber. These are .610 balls, and I'm using .10 patching, thin patching. Anything thicker, you're not going to get down there, or it's going to be extremely difficult. And this is pretty difficult as it is. So let's see what we can do. So that's 1184 with a 65 grain charge of Go X2F. So let's move to the 75 grain charge. Just a minus. And that's 1288. So 85 grains, go X, 2F. <laughs> 85 grains, go X, 2F, 1,351 feet per second. Let's look at 95 grains, go X, 2F. Fourteen hundred and nineteen feet per second. Ninety five grains, go X, two F, fourteen hundred nineteen feet per second. Getting pretty fast. Hundred and five grains, go X two F. Fifty 
1,513 feet per second. So 105 grains, GOX, 2F, 1,513 feet per second. So that's pretty fast. So 1,513 feet per second with GOX, 2F, 105 grains, 0 0.610 ball and 0 0.010 uh, patching material. So fairly tight uh, combo for for this this smooth bore could have used a ball starter to get it started but um, so if I was gonna if I was gonna shoot that regularly I would carry a ball starter um, 1513 so now since we're at 105 we've got our benchmark of 1513 we're gonna run some Swiss 2f see how that changes it we will probably go up and then we'll try the cards and the toe and see what kind of drop and pressure we get. So let's take a look. All right, 100, uh, 105 GOX 2F, 1513 feet per second. Let's see what we get from Swiss 2F. Big difference. And 1,716. So difference between GOX and Swiss, 1,716 feet per second. That's humongous. So our next two shots will be um, the same charge with GOX one carded and one towed and see what happens. So this time we're just gonna use two overshot cards, one above the powder, one above the ball. No, pat no uh, patching with just a carded ball. And that's 1429 so 105 grains go X we're looking at 1429 feet per second all right and so finally 105 grains go X 2f with toe And 1379 is what we get with that. So we got a drop with the toe. So you're wa wasting pressure with the toe, doing a little better with the cards, doing best with the uh, the patch ball, pressure wise. So you're you're looking at probably accuracy wise out at a distance, 50, 60 yards. So there you go. That's it. Thanks, guys.